What's going on guys? It's your boy j Ho bringing you a brand new video. So today I'm going to be opening up 5 legendary slash exotic engrams. So if you guys enjoy these engram opening videos, leave a like on this video and I'll be sure to continue to do them. So I just got 2 exotic chest engrams from Xur and I also got 3 legendary engrams that I've acquired from various rewards. So let's get into it and hopefully we get some good gear. We have some engrams you might find. A so I believe all my legendary engrams are armors. I haven't gotten gun ones or weapon ones in a while. So I'm going to start off with the legendaries. Let's start off with this gauntlet. So first one we got is the Molnia Custom T1 Titan Gauntlets. Uh, I, I guess that's cool. And then we got two Ascendant Energy, and for the last Legendary we get Viper Spine for the Warlock. So, pretty much um, all the Legendary Armor that I get aren't really, aren't really viable anymore just because Raid Gear has the highest light level, so probably just going to get shards out of all of those. So, next up for the Exotics, here we go. First one is the Armamentarium, which is a really good chess piece. Um, I already bought it though, so hopefully it has a higher stat roll. And the last one is Crest of Alpha Loopy for the Hunter. So that's pretty cool. Um, Armentarium is probably the better one out of the two. And uh, it has a decent stat roll, but I think mine is still higher. And this one has a lower stat roll as well. So that's a bummer. Um, hopefully I get better ones in future engram openings. Now that we know that Xur is going to be selling exotics for um, the future every week, I'll probably buy one every week or so and then I'll do a mass opening once I acquire uh, so many. Um, so yeah, so that's about it for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for more videos and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.